Hey, welcome to Puddle Math, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the area of Sierpinski's Triangle. Sierpinski's Triangle uh, is a really cool fractal, and if that's something you're interested in, you should check out the other videos on this channel about Sierpinski's Triangle. But in this video, we're just going to be talking about the area of it. The first stage of Sierpinski's Triangle is just a triangle. We're going to say that this has an area of one unit. The next stage is we draw another equilateral triangle, and this splits Sierpinski's triangle into four equal equilateral triangles. And the way we're going to look at this is as if this new triangle is a cutout out of the original triangle. So now we only have three-fourths of the area that we had before. When we do another iteration, what we're going to do is take a fourth out of each of the remaining segments of area and when you you do that math instead what we have now is nine sixteenth units squared and if you notice each area is three-fourths of the area that comes before it so we can write an expression for the area of Sierpinski's triangle where the area of Sierpinski's triangle is equal to three-fourths to the n minus one power where n is the number of iterations and so to calculate the area of Sierpinski's triangle we just need to figure out what the limit of a sub n is as n approaches positive infinity and as it turns out uh, this is the limit as n approaches positive infinity of three-fourths to the n minus one and since three-fourths is less than one that's going to approach zero. And so the area of Sierpinski's triangle as we continue to cut triangles out of it is going to be equal to zero units.